Hi guys, I'm Tracy and welcome to today's video. So um, today's video is very exciting. It will be featuring the first, um, this is the first time that I'm using products that were sent to me complimentary by a company and that company is Merit Beauty. They reached out and asked if I could um, try some of their products and let you guys know what I thought. So I'm gonna be um, not just featuring those products, I'll be using a lot of other products and I'll also be talking about my favorite brushes for cream and liquid products. So I'm gonna just like fast forward through most of this. I'm not gonna talk through the, um, the demo, it's not really a tutorial. And at the end, I'll go over the brushes and um, let you guys know what my favorite products were. So with that, let's just get started and i'll list everything down below as i'm using them
right, so that's pretty much the look that I wanted to do. And um, really quick, I'll go over the brushes. I use the Bistiotto BFD1, but you know, if you don't want to um, get a really expensive brush like this, um, the Chikohoto G10, which I can't, I had it out here, I can't seem to find it, but I've used that brush many times. That one is will produce very similar results. It's just a very small brush, so it's just not going to take up as much space on your face as this one. And for the cream bronzer, I used the Danessa Myrix um, Power Bronzer in medium, and I really like the Koyuto Yoshiki Cheek Brush for that because the uh, is very dense and the hairs are kind of coarse, so I kind of like a brush like that for cream products. And then for the cream blush, and I got the color Cheeky, which is a pink, the, the pinkish one. And I really like this formula. I would say for my skin tone, um, it, I have to use it very sparingly. But when I use a light hand and I use the, um, the rougher number four, and I just very lightly apply, it looks really natural. I don't really have like a very strong blush look, which I usually don't go for. And the highlighter is a stick. So it's a, you know, I guess a cream highlighting stick. And I normally don't like um, cream or liquid highlighters because previous ones that I've had tended to be very shimmery and it made my uh, skin like look older and it was just a little bit too glaring and I, I generally don't like a very strong highlighter look but this one it doesn't look like you're wearing highlighter it just makes your skin look like glowy like it's maybe um maybe you like just worked out or sweated a little bit it just has that very natural shine it doesn't make my skin um look more textured it actually kind of smooths everything out so this is a very first cream highlighter that i actually like and i really like this one i actually went online and looked for the other shade which is a pink one which i think was sold out i'm not sure but i really do like this you get a ton of product there's like yeah, there's a ton of product. I don't think I'll ever um, finish this because you just need a little. And I really like it with the Sanya G Soft Concealer because you can just put a little bit here and a little bit here. And it looks really nice down the nose. So I would say this and the lipstick. I think, no, number one favorite is lipstick. I love this shade. I got the shade Millennial. And so first of all, the packaging is very unique and very beautiful. I actually carry this around. I really like this shade and it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of lip color. It's a little sheer, but not too sheer, but it's not opaque. I like something in the middle and I don't usually really fall in love with a lip product, but this one I really, really like. A lot of the shades were sold out. There's a shade called Baby, which is a little bit lighter. Um, just, um, I want to mention, I did line before with the Natasha Denona lip liner in Julia. So that kind of changes. It kind of mute it, mutes the pinkness down. But in general, when I wear a pink lipstick, it doesn't usually look very pink on me for some reason, my coloring but I really like this one and I think this will, I know this will look good on someone with a deeper complexion because I've tried it on someone with like a, um, a tan, like warmer complexion and it looked really nice. And um, last product is I got the Lip Slick and I can't find it, but I was really, really excited to try that because it's it was like a, a lip oil but I actually carry it, or carry it around. It's very shiny and I just, I tend not to like a really shiny lip. So um, I would say that one is probably one that I don't like as much. But my number one favorite is the lipstick and second is the highlighter. I think the highlighter is a very unique formula it's not, I can't think of anything else that I've tried that's anything like this. Uh, and this lipstick is really, really lovely. 
it doesn't feel like I'm wearing lipstick. It's very lightweight and because it's not really opaque, I can put it on without a mirror and it looks fine. So, um, and I, I really like the way the, the bullet looks. So those are my thoughts on the makeup and the brushes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye. All right, so I wanted to give you guys a good look at how everything came out in natural light. So there you go. And thank you, Merit, so much for sending me my very first PR. Um, more than excited about it. And I'm really enjoying especially those two products. All right, I'll see you guys later.